Of all of the CRE sectors, the one that gives us the most cause for concern is the retail sector. Um, retail's uh, being uh, hammered by a couple trends that are converging to make life difficult for people in that market. Uh, first is that the long rumored uh, incursion of, of e-commerce is finally getting some traction. So while overall retail numbers are good, uh, same store sales in a lot of cases are off because more people are buying online. So while that's not bad for the retailers in the long run, it does make it difficult in terms of justifying the overhead that's required to maintain the bricks and mortar presence. Uh, so, so that's one trend. Uh, another is we've seen a, a, a handful of big box retailers fall on hard times, uh, notably companies like Sears and JCPenney's and Staples, uh, who have announced massive store closings across the country. And what that does uh, is, is wind up uh, adding to inventory uh, at a time when we really don't need a whole lot more excess inventory in the marketplace. Um, similarly, we're seeing a, a movement by millennials into downtown urban areas. So suburban shopping centers, uh, malls in particular, uh, are finding it hard to, to do enough volume to, to keep their businesses uh, going forward. Uh, so it, it's a combination of, of factors uh, that, that are leading to probably too much inventory, uh, a weakness in terms of, of the need for new uh, big store construction, uh, and, and on a store-by-store -store basis, a need for, for less square footage. So the, the market feels like it's going to be compressed. Interestingly, one of the, there's a positive aspect of, of some of the changes going on in the retail space in a different type of construction. Uh, while there's less need for storefronts and brick and mortar, uh, the e-commerce sales are actually leading to a need for, for warehouses and, and the ability for these retailers uh, to stock goods and have them available for distribution. Uh, so even though we're seeing retail overall go down a little bit and, and at least be challenged in 2015, uh, there's an opportunity for, for a different kind of construction to offset a little bit of that loss.